if you do this one difficult thing, you'll be rich. In the year 2016, when Barack Obama was leaving the White House as President of the United States, a young girl asked Mr. President, What is the one single thing you think I should do if I want to become the future president? In this video, I'll share with you what Obama's response was and the one thing you need to do to be rich even though it's very difficult. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here's the thing, when that young girl asked Obama, what can I do if I want to become the president in the future? Everyone might be expecting one complicated or scientific answer but there was none. In fact, Obama's answer was in three simple words, love the people. Though Obama gave the advice for a girl who wishes to become the President of the United States in the future, that same advice is what you have to follow if you truly want to become rich and successful in life. Success and our selfishness Yes, it's very difficult to truly love other people. In fact, love others is probably the most difficult advice to follow even by any one of us making this video because we are all self-centered. We care only about ourselves. Though it's hard to think about others but that's the only way to be successful in life. Let's check the most successful people in history. Let's think about Thomas Edison, the 20th century inventor and entrepreneur. Edison was a crazy inventor. He could spend years trying to invent valuable things that the world needed. He reportedly failed 1000 times to invent the light bulb we all enjoy today. We can trace other 1093 US patents to him. What someone will say here is that, yeah, but Edison made money from his invention. To which I'll answer, yes he did. Yes, he did make a lot of money from his inventions. But if we think that money is what drove people like Edison, we then should ask ourselves, why didn't they stop failing when they had all the money? The truth here is that deep within Edison, there was a deep love for the people. I can imagine and see Edison alone in his laboratory thinking, if I could figure out how to invent how humans could communicate, this will make their lives better. It wasn't about the money, it was about solving a major problem for humanity. This thinking is the reason why Edison went to his laboratory even on his wedding day. It's difficult to make sacrifices for others but until you do it, you can't create solutions to other people's problems and until you create important solutions for people's problems, you can't be rich. It's that simple. Henry Ford grew up to the world where automobile was for the rich but he wanted to change that. To achieve such a massive dream, he had to fail several times got rejected and remained determined. Yes, he could do it for the money but people who want money for money's sake simply go after the money. They could rob the bank or get involved in drugs. People who want money in a legitimate way know that they have to love people. It's after we truly love other people we can feel their pains. It's after we feel their pains we can be willing to make sacrifices for them to solve their problems. It's when we solve their problems, we can become wealthy, not only rich. Either you want to be the next Martin Luther King or the next Winston Churchill, the key is to love people. Let's look outside money Just as the Obama's advice was not given to someone who wanted to be rich, you can be sure that every individual who has ever become successful do so by loving other humans. Martin Luther was very sure that he would die after receiving tens of threats to his life but there was no turning back. He believed that his people were in bondage and to free them at the expense of his own life was what he was willing to do. You can only do this for the people you love. Winston Churchill wasn't just a hero in the UK. Many UK children believed that he never lived. They thought his story was just another tale made up because they think that no human being could live like that. But we who are old enough to know actually know that Churchill lived as human. 
But what actually made Winston Churchill a great success? That man loved his people. At a time, even when Churchill was not expected to be at war because he was like a general, he was there at the war front. His people must be free even if he will die trying to do that. We can go on and on to tell stories of great heroes and successful people in the past and it will be clear that these people love their people. If so far, I've been able to convince you that the number one secret to being successful in life is to love other humans, how then can you do it? 1. Start thinking outside of yourself When I was a young adult and I got to know that unemployment is the number one problem in my country, I told myself, I'll not add to that number, I'll instead employ some people and reduce the problem of unemployment. That exactly was what I did. I decided not to be an employee because I never wanted to add any bit to the existing problem of my country. Instead of being an employee, today I have people on my payroll. Stop thinking just about you. Think outside of yourself. Take responsibility for your community and country's problems. Practice compassion and you'll be compassionate. Think of your country's problems as your problem and you start taking responsibility because you start loving people in a new way. 2. Stop complaining about what's wrong People who complain about everything don't care about anything. Stop complaining about things that are wrong in your country. Figure out a little part of the problem you can solve with your life and get busy trying to solve that. Complaints are for the weak-minded. Be strong. 3. Start practicing making sacrifices for others Help a little child pick something on the floor. Help age people to do something. Render little helps for strangers. Do something little out of love. When you do this, you will get used to helping people and very soon you'll solve a major problem that will announce you or even make you rich. 4. Don't be in a hurry to make money People who want to make money now cannot love people. MySpace and Yahoo were two companies who died because of their greed. If you visit the homepage of Yahoo those days, you'll see clumsy adverts and posts. They wanted to get those clicks and make those money as fast as possible and that's why they died. Similar thing with MySpace. Be patient even if you are after money. If you want your cake now, you only get a small cake. 5. Do more than you are paid for Let's say you're an employee and you know about a special project your company is embarking on. Show up and let the management know that you are willing to work extra unpaid hours to speed things up. Do similar things with your friends. Give more than you get. This is the act of love and it always leads to success and riches. In conclusion, remember the words of Zig Ziglar, you can get everything you want in life if you help others to get what they want. Life doesn't give you what you want, life gives you what you give. If you love people, you'll be concerned about their problems. If you are genuinely concerned about people's problems, you'll be willing to make sacrifices to solve them. If you are willing to make sacrifices to solve people's problems, you will have riches and successes than you can ever dream of. It's difficult but you have to practice to love. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.